Scarborough is famous for its bluffs. The Cathedral Bluffs was formed by five different ice ages. Believe it or not, the water level came right up to the top of the cliffs, which we're gonna go have a look at soon. Let's go check out some of the stunning vistas that the Scarborough Bluffs has to offer us. There's actually an 80 meter drop to the shoreline, so we have to be careful. These signs are up for a reason, so it looks like there's a $5,000 fine to climb over this fence. Well, this isn't a fence, it's a chain, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to just get over here and not have a problem. Hello and welcome, my name's Dwayne. I'm a 57 year old fitness enthusiast and motivator. It's a goal of mine to present fitness ideas in a new and entertaining way, but you can also bet we're going to be enjoying the great Canadian outdoors because literally it's just right out the door. The Cathedral Bluffs Park is home to bank swallows, coyotes, and white-tailed deer. And I was just told that possums live out here as well. And you want to stay away from wild animals because frankly, they might be cute, but they're unpredictable. We're at Cathedral Bluffs. It's actually an 80 meter drop. You can see a tree and you can think, oh, we're fine. But the only thing that might be holding that landmass together is the tree. And you don't want to be on it when it falls. So I'm wearing my hiking shoes. Running shoes aren't really recommended. The treads can get full of mud and you can basically slip. And right now I could be two feet away from nothing. So I'm gonna be very careful. So why do researchers consider hiking to be a super exercise? Because not only are you moving physically, but it actually requires quite a bit of brain power. I know that might sound kind of silly initially, but you have to navigate where you're going. It's like an obstacle course. Not only are you getting physical exercise, but you have to avoid certain things. Slippery slopes, you don't want to go the wrong way. Getting lost is relatively easy. It doesn't happen to me, of course, uh, but it happens to other people. There are many additional benefits that you get with hiking. You get the physical benefits, but you also get the mental benefits. But hiking offers something that most outdoor exercises don't offer, and that's navigation. Hiking is considered a well-balanced exercise. It's beautiful out here. And it makes you sharper. You have to process a lot. You're not thinking about it, but your balance, the path you take, there's many decisions that you have to make when you hike. Hiking keeps your mind sharper than other types of exercise. It leads to more circulation in the brain and more oxygen. And you're also doing an exercise in nature, not on nature, like whitewater rafting or horseback riding. So number one, hiking keeps your mind sharper than many other types of exercises. Number two, hiking keeps you calm and happy. Number three, hiking helps your relationships. A lot of times you're going with another person and this makes you feel close to them being out in nature. There's mounting evidence that hiking is good for personal relationships. When you're in nature, you feel more peaceful and you trust the person that you're with. This can draw you closer emotionally. So if you're hoping for a loan, maybe bring them out for a hike. Hiking can increase our creativity. Studies show that you are more creative when you're in nature. Number five, hiking allows us to form a positive relationship with nature which may make us more conservative and help to protect nature in general. This is a good thing for the planet and we need a healthy planet to be healthy. The fresh air and natural vitamin D that you get are only a few of the positives. So we were just standing up there a little while ago and you can see the erosion that's going on here. Okay, so now we're down below. We were actually way up there. And you can see just how dangerous that is. You take the wrong step or you have the wrong footwear on, you can slip right off the edge. It's pretty high up. Actually, if you look way up the top, you can see the bank swallows. So apparently we can't climb up there, which is a real drag because I was just about to set off. Sure, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure I could handle it. I'm just gonna make sure I have my will in order before I... Well, I have to say Bluffers Park is a real bluff because along with the escarpment, you get a beach. So you probably weren't thinking that you need to take your bathing suit to the park when you're hiking. Well, there you go. They've rated this park at a 4.7, which is actually pretty high. And I would have to say it deserves it. This park is gorgeous. 